After my John Correa, Paul Harrell, active self-protection video, whatever, I kind of got a, a real eye-opening experience to the other side of being a creator. So up until that point, I've been very lucky to uh, have mostly really, really great positive feedback. So uh, I'm going to be vulnerable with you guys today. Be nice. So I went to the chiropractor this morning. I went to the chiropractor because my back's been hurting for a long time. It's getting worse. Uh, it's a guy I trust, great dude, professional athletes, use him, whatever. So I go in and we know each other fairly well. And he says, you know, what could help with the back is to lose a little bit of the front, uh, AKA I'm fat, need to lose weight. So I did change jobs. I went from a very physical manufacturing job to, well, a not very physical um, firearms shop, gun shop manager role. And it has certainly showed on my waistline. Some of you may have noticed it and been too kind to point it out. Uh, some of you guys have noticed it and have definitely pointed it out. So, I'm not a New Year's resolution guy because I think it's cliche and really doesn't mean anything past the first few weeks. So, I I'm not going to call it that, but I am going to be on a personal uh, mission here, if you will, in 2022 to get back in the gym, get healthier, things like that. Uh, one of the things that we don't always talk about as as it pertains to self-defense is the importance of being physically fit. We talk about empty-handed skills, we talk about gear, we talk about mindset, uh, we don't always talk about physique and physical fitness and health. Um, I'm not a kale-eating fitness guru, obviously, uh, and I'm not going to pretend like I am and lecture you guys on that. Basically, I'm trying to gauge any interest in seeing any kind of gym fitness content uh, as embarrassing as it may be for me to make. If it helps other people, um, I'm open to doing that in limited scope this isn't going to become a fitness channel if, if you guys want to see it but just every now and then if i remember to click record um some stuff like that so if you're interested say i if you're not interested i'll say no that's cool or whatever um, i'm going to be trying to get back into shape either way so if there's anything that i can do if you have similar goals uh, to help you with that let me know um, if nothing else well hell i'm doing it so you do it too even if it's just going for a walk um it's very easy, especially this time of year, to not be as active. Um, <clears throat> and I know I'm lucky because I'm in Georgia and it doesn't get that cold, but it is substantially harder to get out when there's frozen water and stuff on the ground, uh, and frost and all that stuff when it's cold and windy. It's a little bit harder to get that urge to go outside and do stuff, but there it is, 2022. I'm gonna try to get somewhat in shape, not just for for you guys that talk crap on the internet, but mainly for my kids, um, so I can be around a little bit longer. So, there is that. So if you're interested again in any kind of fitness content, say yes. If you're not, say no. If you're on a similar quest or you have tricks, ideas, tidbits uh, to help me form that habit, I think they say it takes 21 days to form a new habit. I don't know if that's still true or if, they've, if that's become outdated now. Um, that's what I used to hear, so. Anything to make it become a habit, um, whatever. I'm open to, to ideas. Drop them in the comments. All right, guys. Stay safe. Keep shooting. I guess keep exercising or start exercising if you're like me. And I'll see you next time.